leadership rhythm. Okay, so the leadership rhythm is, is it's really the behind the scenes that makes all this fascinating and fun, okay? If we know that all the team leaders are talking to the remote teams, then there's this interaction. How you doing? How we doing? Great job. Look, I need you to improve the mentoring, the coaching, and all that. And that's what happens in the regular communication, right? There's coaching, there's mentoring, there's assistance. We talk about how you're doing, what I need to do, what are you doing that needs to improve, what do I need that needs to improve. And then here's the big one. Ready? What Ready. do you need that's getting in the way? What problems are you having that I need to know about? Mm -hmm. And that's where in a remote right here, you need to be able to give the remote team members the confidence that there's not anybody else listening to this. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. you can tell me anything. All right. Let's have a candid I, conversation. I'm sorry. What? That you can have a candid conversation. Yes. Because, because again, it's kind of like when you close your eyes, you're hearing or blind, blind individuals that, that, that their other senses pick up, or if you're deaf, your other, you know what I'm saying? All right. It's the same thing. Now that we're remote, we're hearing a silence and we're seeing things we hadn't done before. And I got to be able to talk to somebody about these issues. Okay. Because I'm seeing things that I need to talk to you about. Now, if you're my team leader, Mary Ellen, and I'm the remote team member, we're both remote. And I mm -hmm. tell you that I'm seeing some things half of what I'm going to say, you're probably going to have to go and kind of keep an eye out and you and other team leaders may need to go to a, a management meeting and say, Hey, y'all, we're hearing this from our people. Yep. But if that leadership team meeting is not happening at least once a week to where we can bring our stuff that we're hearing from the field, then we're not going to be able to support them. And they're going to soon realize it's not worth me telling Mary Ellen and these meetings just become something for you to hold me accountable. Right. I can't and they really... no longer become candid and they fall on deaf. They feel like they're falling on deaf ears. Exactly. So that leadership rhythm meeting is to make sure that we're checking on progress, that we're fixing problems, that we're making decisions that empower the Mary Ellen's of the world to empower the remote team members and that we're helping them so that the message is the leadership team is back in the back waiting for you guys to tell us where to where, where we can fix things and how we can assist you guys out in the, out in the uh, out in the work out in the remote field gotcha all right so what about team wide calls all right well that's the next step if I, if we're meeting as a leadership team okay and we're hearing from everybody and we're seeing the progress report see all this leads up to this then let's have a team meeting where we do a whole team meeting and it's very positive Guys, thank you so much for this. And what I'm telling all law, all, all uh, partners, okay, get in front of your remote teams at least once a week. They need to hear from you and they need to see that presidential officer on a horse leading the charge, motivating that only the executives at the top can do. Yeah. And I think it goes back to the this is weird thing because people are feeling unusual and unsettled and this is a weird situation but if they see their leader really Absolutely. being with it and and acting as a leader should it mm -hmm. helps sort of quelch some of that fear and concern yeah and what and if i had a room of just the executives at the top here's what i would tell them do your one team okay and then ask your managers are y'all doing a team wide within your team yep. okay I love the fact you're calling each one individually, but are you having your own team where you're being presidential? And then mm -hmm. if, and if they're not, help them because they, they're probably not comfortable, you know, but they need to see their team leader be that, be that voice, that's right? Point. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. All right, what about, you know, I know number nine, provide training. Uh, uh, look, uh, I, I was on a webinar with, with Patrick Licioni, okay, the, the author of uh, The Ideal Team Player, okay? And of course, he's got like 50, 60 consultants worldwide. And he in it, he said, it is amazing how much training they're now doing for their clients and mm -hmm. how they're training their clients on how to use virtual technology to provide coaching sessions for each other. Yeah. And yeah. the beautiful thing about it uh, with Zoom and all these technologies, you have a session with two, record it, make it available, it put it on, put it on a shared site. I'm yeah. sorry, say it. And it becomes a session for a hundred. And yep. absolutely. And then contact your training coordinator or who's, who's ever wearing that hat or HR and have them organize it. Okay. And then eventually somebody, please put all that up on the, your company's YouTube channel and make those, make some of those private, make some of those public or open up two channels, one for the public and one for internal. I mean, get creative about this. Now's the time to do it. The technology is there. And, and, exactly. and 
and P and everybody is now okay doing training remote. Okay. It's a, it's a foregone conclusion. It's, it is it's happening. Right. Yeah. And I mean, I really think provide training, you know, one of the VISTA tenants is how important training is for everything that we do. That's so right. really That's right. one through 10 could, could have some element of making sure that you're providing training and giving that to your team. Yep. All right. Build fun around it. Let's talk about I that. Mean, I mean, virtual happy hours, virtual, uh, whatever, virtual dot, dot, dot. Okay. Yeah. And encourage people to connect with each other. Do not make it to where the team leaders have to set these up. Okay. Actually, the team leaders should encourage uh, the, 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 the remote team members, okay, the frontliners, y'all please do this and don't even invite us. Exactly. It's just like That's going exactly. to the, it's just like going to. Being intentional about the culture again. Exactly, oh, exactly. exactly. In your team. Yeah. Exactly, but then add to it incentives, uh, uh, reward performance, uh, just all that has to do with building, uh, I like you, you keep using the word intentional culture building, it works. And because everybody's now okay with the fact that we're living remotely from camera to camera, man, it's just, there, there's a safety here. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It's just safety here that you can say, hey, guys, got to go. My wife's calling. Oh, get out. It's safe. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, just, just get yeah, creative we, about that. We did something called Wine Down Wednesday. Which oh, was that's good. Going with your team members with your glass of wine. No work talk allowed. This is just a. That's a good one stress kind of situation yeah, the bird, the nice bird, one to keep your culture up yeah yeah that's great i love that that's great yep that's it all right great list maurice great hey list. no you're a great list i think combining i hope we we, we uh, those of you that are watching or share with each other hope this helps um and stay in touch with us anything else we can do for you we're here uh let's go ahead and sign off this is maurice velasquez mary ellen burrow and just the consulting thank you guys very much have a great weekend